Sponsorship for this program provided by the Ed and Don DeCarbo Funeral Home and Crematory Incorporated with two locations, 941 South Mill Street, Newcastle and 3000 Wilmington Road, Neshanic Township. with two locations.
Good morning. And our memorial mass this morning is being offered for David J. Baum, Joseph Randy Clavelli, Francis M. Themian, Francis Bundutz, Edmund S. Lewandowski, and Stella J. Presner. We hold the death of the Lord deep in our hearts. Living now we remain with Jesus the Christ. Once we were people afraid, lost in the night. Then by your cross we were saved, dead became living life from your giving. We hold the death of the Lord deep in our hearts. Living now we remain with Jesus the Christ. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us first call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, whose Son for our sake willingly underwent death in the flesh, Grant mercifully, we pray, that your servants may have part in the wondrous victory of Christ's resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak, saying, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. You know the word that he sent to the children of Israel as he proclaimed peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sin through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to Thanks God. Thanks be to God. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. God is my shepherd, so nothing shall I want. I rest in the meadows of faithfulness and love. I walk by the quiet waters of peace. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Gently you raise me and heal my weary soul. You lead me by pathways of righteousness and truth. My spirit shall sing the music of your name. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, 
beyond my fears, from death into life. Though I should wander the valley of death, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. Your rod and your staff, my comfort and my hope. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. You have set a banquet of love in the face of hatred. Crown me with love beyond my power to hold. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Surely your kindness and mercy follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of my God forevermore. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. For if we have grown into union with him through a death like his, we shall also be united with him in the resurrection. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that our sinful body might be done away with, that we might no longer be in slavery to sin. For a dead person has been absolved from sin. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. When Mary came to where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come with her weeping, he became perturbed and deeply troubled and said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Sir, come and see. And Jesus wept. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, Could not the one who opened the eyes of the blind man have done something so that this man would not have died? So Jesus, perturbed again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay across it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the dead man's sister, said to him, Lord, by now there will be a stench, for he has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. And Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing me. I know that you always hear me. But because of the crowd here, I have said this, that they may believe that you sent me. And when he had said this, he cried out in a loud voice, 
Lazarus, come out. And the dead man came out, tied hand and foot with burial bands, and his face was wrapped in a cloth. So Jesus said to them, Untie him and let him go. Now many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what had done began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In these days, we very much can feel like Mary. And maybe our honest prayer is, Lord, if you had been here, Lord, if you had been here, this would have been easier. Lord, if you had been here, this would have been more peaceful, but you weren't. That's the way it feels that everything is shut down, that we can't have the funeral that we want to have, that we can't have the sacraments the way we would like to. And so we may say honestly to our Lord Jesus Christ, if you had been here, things would have been better. But we know from this gospel that Christ allows this difficult time, this troubling time, which he's not apart from. He enters into that suffering with us as well. Even though Christ knows exactly what he's going to do, that he's going to raise Lazarus up, he is still perturbed and saddened. Because death is always sad. Whether it happens quickly and dramatically and unexpectedly, or whether it comes at the end of a long struggle, and in some sense there's a relief that there's finally peace, either way it's still sad. Because death is not what we are meant for. And Christ knows that. And so he enters into that sadness. So despite all that, he knows he's going to raise up Lazarus, but he still enters into that sadness. But what's interesting is the difference between the way Lazarus is raised up and the way Jesus Christ is raised up. You know, throughout the Gospels, if you remember that Jesus raises several people from the dead, and immediately those people who are raised from the dead, the people recognize them. Like, oh, look, this person is back. But when Jesus rises from the dead, there's something different. The apostles at first have trouble believing or seeing There's something different about the way that Christ has risen from the dead. That difference is, those other people like Lazarus, they come back from the dead. They gain their earthly life back. But Christ is the first fruit of the resurrection, which is something different. We know that our destiny as Christians is not to become angels or to become ghosts or to simply just come back from the dead. No, we are meant to be raised from the dead, to receive new and glorified bodies. So indeed, one day, God willing, not only will we see our God face to face, but we will quite quite literally see each other face to face. You will see the faces of your loved ones in a way far more clear than you even did on earth, because we're meant to have these raised new bodies. And so why does Jesus Christ raise Lazarus from the dead? As a promise that he's going to do something even greater for all of us. All of us who are destined to die are destined to be raised again if we have faith in Jesus Christ. And that's why he performs that miracle back then. But the miracle we celebrate this Easter season is something far greater. Christ has been raised from the dead And if we die with him, we will rise with him as well. So yes, right now, it's difficult. And it feels like Christ isn't here for some of us. But indeed, he is. That's what we place our hope in. That's what we place our trust in. That as Christ has been raised, so shall all of us. And so, with loving trust in our Heavenly Father, we offer our prayers and petitions. For those who are baptized, were given who, for those who in baptism were given the pledge of life, 
that they may now be admitted into the company of the saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brothers and sisters who ate the body of Christ, the bread of life, that they may be raised up on the last day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our deceased relatives and friends, and for all who have helped us, that they may have the reward for their goodness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the family and friends of our brothers and sisters, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord, who wept at the death of his friend, Lazarus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for this day. We offer you these prayers and petitions knowing that you are a good and loving God and that you will answer them all in accordance with your will. For we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. O become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord. Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Almighty and merciful God, by means of these sacrificial offerings, wash away, we pray, in the blood of Christ, the sins of your departed servants. For you purify unceasingly by your merciful forgiveness those you once cleansed in the waters of baptism, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the salvation of the world, the life of the human race, the resurrection of the dead. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, 
and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. In this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and David, our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servants, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they, who were united with your Son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth, he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters, too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all ages and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And we pray a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. You are rest after toil, O Lord, life after death. Grant them eternal rest. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of your only begotten Son, who was sacrificed for us and rose in glory, we humbly implore you, O Lord, for your departed servants, that cleansed by paschal mysteries, they may glory in the gift of the resurrection to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. O oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the works thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee, how great thou art.